Hello, I wanted to show you something neat. This is about as simple as a post-it note. Underneath this glass globe, I just have a ring of LED lights. Now, this is just a uh, Christmas tree light, except it's clear glass, and it's got a cork on one end and uh, some tape to keep the liquid from coming out. And there's some ferrofluid along with some dissolution agent in here. And what I do is I just spin the globe to coat it the inside of it, which, of course, will eventually pour down to the bottom, but you can see I'm coating the inside of the surface with the liquid, which is just a few milliliters. So I just have a glass sphere, nothing else, with some liquid in it. Now I'm going to place a magnet behind it and actually let you see the magnetic field. Hold on a second, let me actually zoom in when I do this. And get focus. And call this a ferrosphere. Now this, by the way, kiddies, this, I want you to think about one thing for just a second, okay? Uh, most of you have never seen a true art hologram, um, like the hologram on your credit card. Imagine something about 50 times as good. That's what a true art hologram looks like. Most people have never seen a true art hologram. But imagine something as simple as this, which is just a squirt of liquid inside of a Christmas tree ornament with a uh, LED, I'm just swishing the fluid around to coat the inside of the glass sphere, with an LED, a ring LED underneath it, and a magnet. So we can, right now we're actually looking at, uh, to the left side and the right side as the quote unquote pole. So right now we're actually looking, you see it actually drew the uh, ferrofluid and dissolution agent up to the top, but uh, right now we're actually looking at the uh, plane of inertia on the magnet here. And this would be a pole. And actually come down here, you can see I can actually draw the liquid up. But you can also see, if you actually look in closely, a white line at the center of the magnet, the plane of inertia. Now you can't see it that way, but you can see it this way. You see that white line right in the center? Now I'm gonna let the liquid go, okay. Um, you can actually keep it like this for quite a long while before you actually have to turn the sphere again, calling this the uh, ferrosphere. Let me actually uh, use a, a different light source. Let me actually turn that one over and see if this one's uh, any better here. have a different ring light. What I'm going to do is a sw swirl the liquid around to coat the inside of the glass sphere. This has uh, got this... These uh, four Christmas ornaments were like $5 at the Hobby Lobby. Took me like five minutes to make each one of these. Yeah, there we go. This is a one inch cube neodymium iron boron N50 gauss, which you can get for like $8 on eBay. But we're actually looking at, this is a uh, five inch sphere. We are looking at a five inch spherical uh, hologram of the magnetic field of this magnet. That is countless thousands of times deeper than even the best art hologram. Like I said, can you just think about that for a second? Something as simple as this, a ring light, an LED ring light, a um, glass globe, a Christmas tree ornament, and a special solution just swirled around the inside of the glass. Okay, put a cork in it, right, so it doesn't spill out and it really stains like hell, by the way. This is it. The world's best hologram is in a device as simple as a post-it note. Here you can actually see the plane of inertia if I bring it to the other side without sucking the liquid up to it. Which I will do now. See the liquid is actually being. Well, look at the uh, magnetic flux lines in the bottom. You see the plane of inertia right there? There's a bright white line right at the center of the division point of either quote unquote pole. And then pull the magnet away and let it drop, the liquid drop. So I'm glad you could get a look at this. Tell me what you think. When they say simplicity is divinity, this is as simple as it gets. This is a magnetic viewing device that is about as complex as a post-it note. 
Um, you can actually make these spheres out of plastic, but they scratch easy. I've uh, made those. The uh, the best ones are uh, glass like this. You just have to be careful, obviously, not to freaking break them. Real time magnetic viewer. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, you can always click the link below. I'm busy working on uh, my lecture and the fourth edition of my book, which I was actually really busy at today. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Okay? You've uh, now seen the Ferrosphere.